With a CNC router, you are probably primarily acclimated to thinking about X, Y, and Z axes. We can add a fourth axis to the CNC. I've got an indexer on this ShopBot desktop machine, and think about a lathe that is controlled with CNC accuracy. That's what's going on here. So with this, we can do stuff like fluting like this, plus a whole lot more. When you look at this, there's all sorts of cool stuff going on. Using the software, the flutes are evenly spaced around the cylinder. They also ramp from one end to the other. We've got a cove on one end, not on the other. So that very easily could become a table lake or a number of other things. So on this spindle, let's look at cutting a spiral so you can get a feel for how this goes. Um, showing this to a friend of mine, the way he described it when he saw the video the first time, was it's a little bit like uh, rubbing your stomach and patting your head. So kind of keep that in mind. As we move in the X and Y and Z, the indexer is also going to be controlling the rotation on that cylinder. As many times as I've seen this run, I just still think the technology is so cool that we're moving in all these different directions. When the bit comes forward, it's centered over the spindle here, and that's what gives it that location. From there, we're using the X in this direction, and of course the Z in this direction, while the indexer is turning. Now, a really cool project that I did was making this night for a chess set Let's have a look at that process and what it takes for the indexer to do that. When you use a CNC for carving, including on an indexer like this, it's pretty common to do a roughing pass first, followed by a finishing pass. And it's just what it sounds like. The roughing pass is gonna remove the bulk of the material. The finishing pass is gonna detail it. I'm doing a roughing pass here with a quarter inch ball nose bit. I've watched the indexer a bunch of times, but I'm still really intrigued by what it does. In this case, the Y is at zero. That centers the bit over the center of the spindle. X is left and right, so the bit is fluidly being moved back and forth in the X direction. Z, as always, is our vertical component. Moving up and down in the Z direction is what's actually doing the carving. And from there, it's just a bunch of rinse and repeat. The indexer rotates the spindle just the right amount while the bit moves in the X and the Z. I've sped the action up quite a bit here just to move things along. This is a two-bit operation, so once the roughing pass was done, I swapped bits, re-zeroed the Z for this eighth-inch ball nose, and started the finishing tool path. I've again sped up the action. The process of carving on the indexer is admittedly slow, this is well over an hour to carve these two nights. But the beauty of a CNC is that you can push the go button and you can be doing other stuff in your shop while the CNC is doing the work for you. What a great employee. As the carving is being created, you'll notice there's a little spigot that connects the horse's head to the base of the adjacent piece. That has to be there to keep the whole spindle intact. After the carving comes off the indexer, you just cut through that and sand off the waste. When the tool path is complete, back off the tailstock. And loosen the chuck.
and your carving is ready to come off the indexer. The cut quality on this between the tight tolerances on the indexer and the eighth inch ball nose bit is absolutely amazing. Very little sanding to wrap this project up. That process gives us this. And like I said in that other video, part of what's amazing to me, there's no sanding on this yet. That cut quality is right off of the eighth inch ball nose and the tolerance that we get from using the indexer and the CNC. So with an indexer like this on the shop pot, this opens the door to so many more possibilities. We're quickly going from 2D to full 3D here. And with the software using VCarve Pro, we can easily lay out a number of different rotary designs here. This is such a cool addition to the CNC.